Matt Descoli is, uh, I'd describe him as a wetsuit master. Um, and it's unbelievable for us as a brand to have someone like that to work alongside, helping us build the suit that we need. Oh, I don't consider myself a designer. I, I'm just a, a wetsuit builder uh, who knows how to make a wetsuit. Tom and the gang approached me with the concept of making a cold water wetsuit. Uh, but what was exciting is that we didn't know our consumer yet. The wetsuit tester program, for me, that's been one of the most exciting things about launching a wetsuit, which is a milestone moment for the brand. We've had a variety of people testing the suit, right up from our ambassadors to, uh, you know, butchers, posties, uh, really putting it through its paces and giving us the feedback we need to, to make a better suit ahead of uh, this next autumn. How we prioritize the development of this suit is simple. It's durability, comfort, and warmth. So on our chest and back panel, we chose to go for a thicker neoprene in order to give that core the uh, necessary heat capacity to stay out longer in the surf. We chose to put a back panel on it, something to cover the kidney area, uh, the lower lumbar, just to uh, give you that added warmth. Double blind stitch, uh, usually you find it in uh, thicker dive suits, but why we chose to use it uh, in this uh, first model is simply because the durability. With this, if you, you know, somehow scratch it against the reef, it'll hold up. Flexibility was key, especially in, in thicker suits. Um, so we chose to go with a higher nitrogen content uh, density foam. The biggest thing with fatigue is the thickness under your underarms. And we chose to go with uh, the lesser dense foam to give you that mobility. Over time, wetsuit neoprene, just like cotton, starts to lose some of its elasticity. But with this now, it, it gives that extra tension and obviously a better seal around your gloves or for that matter, your wrists uh, over time. So Tom and I had this uh, crazy idea of taking the concept from a Wellington boot and incorporating it into a wetsuit. After looking at our consumer feedbacks and, and some of our comments of how to put on a wetsuit with your cold hands in the middle of nowhere, and that's why we decided for a calf loop. No matter what the weather is, they're gonna go out. No matter how cold it is, they're just gonna get wet. I'm really excited about seeing surfers in our suits this autumn.